that's lame. I mean, maybe I'll, maybe I'll cut it down to like a 15 minute video and really just address him and his video. But I, I feel like it's not really worth it. That's pocket. Okay. What? I'm telling you, the only thing about his video that bothered me, it was really not about his video. He got like some things wrong, completely wrong, but most of it was like pretty on point. And I didn't have any issues with it. Um, the only thing that bothered me about it was the fact that he's hiding my name and deleting my comments. So it's like he wants to make he wants to pull in views off of my content and talking about me, but doesn't want to give me a voice to reply to that. Oh, man. So he deleted all my comments and he deleted any comments by anybody that actually said my name or said anything positive about me. So... I just think it's, uh, like, in short, I just think it's hypocritical because you're going to be like, oh, you know, you're against hacking videos, but you want to make a whole YouTube video about hacking videos to make yourself look like the good guy and make other people look like the bad guy so that you can pull in views from that hacking content without actually being the hacker. And if you look at his page... And, and also ensure that that the person that you're making the video about doesn't get a single view in return off of you using their their content. But if you look at his his YouTube page, literally every video, one after the next, has the word toxic in it. It's like toxic TTV this and toxic bully that. And it, it's just like every video is about toxicity in DVD, so that's his that's his thing and all it tells me is that he's too boring himself to actually get an audience outside of using other people's content and making videos about other people I've seen hackers do worse than make the game miserable, at least should make it fun Not see anything wrong with what you do. Well, honestly, he's entitled to his opinion about it. Like, his opinion doesn't bother me. It's the fact that he's going to make a whole video about me and then make sure that I can't comment on it. So it's like you want to talk about somebody but not talk to them or have an, an actual conversation. I just find it disingenuous, that's all. It's like... But he's free to do whatever he wants. I, I don't care. I think, like, anybody who really wants to know will will know who it is, who he's talking about. Like, anybody who really oh, wants to... Like, so, I just kind of see it as free advertising, free publicity. And, um... I already had somebody, like, the first day it came out, right after it came out, they're like, oh, I actually forgot about your YouTube channel, and then I saw his video, and, like, I'm back here in your live stream. So it's, it's brought people to me. And it's, it's kind of funny when you watch it, because it's like he's trying to hate, but he can't, he finds it interesting. He's like, this is gross, this is sick, this is so wrong. But then he's like, but on the other hand, there's kind of like this villain backstory that is mesmerizing and I can't quite take my eyes off of this content. And he also had some really nice things to say, like some compliments in there. 
that I was a really good nurse. Or at least known as a really good nurse. I love it. Who cares what people they say? Yeah, I don't. I don't really care. I the video. Honestly, the video itself didn't bother me one bit. There were a few things that he got wrong. I go. What the fuck? How is he hit me? There were like a few things that he said that were wrong. Like he said that I've been hacking for three months straight. Really been hacking for about five weeks so a little over a month um he said that my twitch was banned my twitch was not banned i don't use i'm not like uh, i don't stream on twitch but i do have a twitch account that's not banned and he also said that i was doing this as some sort of sick way of getting back at behavior which is absolutely not the case but aside from those three main things that i could think of off the top of my head like everything else is pretty accurate and, it, and his opinion of it he's totally entitled to Honestly, I was like a little flattered about it, that's all. And I'm hoping that like maybe other people will make videos about it too, because these kind of content creators, they all make the same videos. You know, like when one person makes a video on Void Totos, you know, four people make a video on him. <laughs> so I'm hoping it just becomes a, a little trendy thing. Probably won't, but because I'm not like nearly as controversial as Void Totos, I'm not making like quote unquote racist, homophobic type content, as they would call it. Everybody's throwing snowballs at him while you do that. I'm actually updating my Discord like right now because someone's in this He is not gonna go into that again. He is. I don't know, sometimes it's buggy for me, but it usually works. It's a hacker I was in a game with. It was a hillbilly and hooked all of us instantly. Ooh, Echo? Do you do that to them? Only if I don't feel like... Yeah, usually. 
Do you ever do that to just raise your MMR, like the auto bot that kills everyone? No. Oh, Void. Void Totos. Okay, yeah. He's doing that to raise his MMR. He's not even playing those games. He's he's actually not even at his computer when that's going on. It's just a automatic bot killing everyone to get the MMR higher. Slam I clipped it. That's how I found out who he is. Yeah, like I'm saying, he's not even in that game. He's just running it a script so that it goes game after game after game just killing everyone immediately so that his MMR can get higher so he can play against the highest, you know, skill cap. But honestly, I've never done it. But I would say honestly, I'd almost rather have a killer do that and have the the hacking game be over with immediately from the start then sit there and endure like a, a torturous game where a hacker is like holding the game hostage or something or even on the hacker side right like if i want to play killer and i want to raise my mmr i don't want to sit there and go through like 50 matches where i'm slowly killing a bunch of you know, like baby survivors at the lowest MMR. That's the fun part. What do you mean? I want to let those survivors live. So I almost feel like it's like more quick and painless to just run that and kill them right off the bat. <laughs> and, and, you know, like make it short and I guess short and painless, like as opposed to long and torturous. But I haven't done it. It should allow you to quit a few times before matchmaking penalties happen in case you get a... I guess. I don't know. You know, even the moonwalking is bugged. Did you notice that? It's not like the risky moonwalking. It's the other one. Where I go? What do you do? Grab you? Okay, he's not gonna let me get that. Asshole. You're not gonna follow me again, are you? You gonna let it happen again? A second time? Nah. Is auto escape working? Guess so. Oh, I got an achievement. Yeah, maybe DC penalties shouldn't be a like an immediate thing, or, or they should add up to where it's like very minimal, 15, 30 seconds, like a minute, and then, you know, minute and a half, two minutes, like very small. I would have, I would say that for sake of not just like DCing from like a hacker or something, but DC or uh, like, like if your internet goes out and you just lose connection. I don't know as a killer, like I kind of like the uh, challenge of going against hackers, but if they're just going full force, it's, it could be somewhat impossible. If they're being reckless and silly, then you can catch them. It's like me, I die in the end game a lot because I'm just messing around, letting the timer run out where if I wanted to leave, I could just leave. 
but I make it that last second thing, like, am I going to get out, or are they going to kill me, or is the enemy going to get me? Or are they going to hook me, and then I'm going to escape on a hook? 